Hello, this is a video tutorial for the NS Panel Manager Projects documentation page. I'm going to show you how to flash an NS Panel with our custom firmware. And yeah, we'll get straight to it. First off, we need a panel. I have one here. I'm going to get that loose. The correct way to get a panel loose from the wall is to get a screwdriver, a flat one, just go from under this little hole here and then you just twist boom oh the light went off there it's gonna put that back and i'm gonna show you here as well this is the panel that we're going to work with and i like to do it in the same way you just take the screwdriver in the middle and twist and you get it open you can also use these holes to like do this kind of thing but it's i think the easiest way is to just go here and twist all right remove that one next we want to get rid of the back so we we'll just unscrew these two screws in the bottom and it should be easy to just remove the cover like that. Next I'm just going to point out the holes that we use when we flash the panel. So they're up here in the left corner starting with the one furthest to the left we have the voltage 3 volts, we have the transmit pin, receive pin, ground pin and the IO0 pin I think it's called. To flash you need a flashing cable that looks something like this. There are several different kinds of them out there. I will give you a link in the descriptions to an example of one. This is mine. Uh, if you look at this one you can see that you have kind of the same thing here. You have 3 volts. You can also use this with 5 volts but we, we want to use 3 volts when flashing the NS panel. We have a transmit pin, we have a receive pin, we have a ground pin. I'm going to try and hold it like this so you see everything. What you want to do when you flash the NS panel, you need to have the voltage pin on the USB converter here. You need that to be attached to the voltage on the panel, of course. The important thing is that the transmission pin on the USB goes to the reception on the panel. The reception pin on the USB goes to transmission on the panel. And ground goes to ground. And the extra ground cable here, the white one, that is going to the IO0 pin. And that's super important. It's uh, the white cable that is attached to ground that you put in the IO0 pin that makes the NS panel go into flashing mode. So what I've done is I've just taped my pins together so I always have them prepared. The only thing I need to look at is the white cable and make sure to put that in the I.O. pin, then everything else will be okay. I'm actually going to show you two ways of doing this. First off, I'm going to show you the lazy way, the way I'm doing it always. I've done it like a thousand times. There's a bit of a risk, maybe, you might think, to it. But I've done it, as I said, a thousand times and my panel is still working. So I'm going to show you that first. It's super easy, it goes quick. And second, I will show you the bit more complicated way, but might have less risk to it. Okay, let's start showing you the lazy way. What I mean with the lazy way is that what I'm doing then is that I just put all of these pins in here. Uh, when I flash, I just put them in like that. And I just tilt the board upwards a bit. And the reason why I do that is because if you just put the pins downwards like this, they will touch like a metal plate behind you will short circuit the flasher and it will not work so if you want to do it this way the lazy way you need to put your pins down and tilt it a bit so you get the card or the the pins away from the metal behind so we don't short circuit it as i said maybe it's not a good thing to short circuit things but i've done this a thousand times and it really doesn't seem to hurt the panel so i'm doing that the non-lazy way is to get this green card entirely removed so we don't risk that short circuit thing and i will show you that later let's start flashing we need a file and we need a software i like to do this with 
ESP Home Web Flasher. So just search for ESP Home Web Flasher. And you need to use Chrome to use that one. Enter this page. It's super easy, you don't have to install anything. Just use the web browser, plug in your flashing cable and you're good to go. We need a file as well and the file you can find on our documentation page, on our web page. Uh, you can go to a flash son of Venice panel and here's a link to the file. So let's download that one. Uh, yeah, downloads save. Okay. So what I like to do is to start with the flashing cable USB unplugged. Then start off with putting the pins into the board at the correct, correct place. I'll do it with my left hand like that and tilt the board. Attach the USB and then press connect. Keep tilting that board and you go here, uh, install, you press choose file and downloads the merge flash bin that's a file and we'll just press install all right and we're done just press close i always pull the usb first like that and then we release the board and the tilting stuff and we're done that's it that's the lazy way let's show you the a bit more complicated way so what you have to do then is you need to remove the, the card from the actual screen so you do that by pressing this black one here it's the lock for the screen okay I'll do, I'll do it like this like that and then you're able to pull this connector cable like that to release release it from the board and now the board should be possible to remove like this oh man okay there you go so as you can see you have this metal plate here that makes you short circuit things if you like, if you flash the panel a lot, I mean you could put some kind of tape here so you're not able to short circuit and that will make things even easier. Okay, so when you've done that, you just do the exact same thing. Plug in your USB cable like that, just like that. Now we don't have to worry about short circuiting things and we can just chill. Uh, I'll press connect. Find the USB cable, do the same thing, install, choose the file, <laughs> merged, install. And the good thing with this is that you can just relax, have a cup of coffee, maybe a, a bun. I like the ESP Home web flasher, it's super good. The only downside to using that is that it takes longer than when you use one of the flashing tools that you install on your computer. Because then you can change like the board rate on how fast you want to flash. So I think if you use one of the installed softwares, it takes like, I don't know, 10 seconds to flash the panel. But with this ESP Home tool, I think the board rate is pretty low, so it takes two minutes. It would be great if you could change the, that setting so it would be faster because it's kind of kind of slow. And there we go. Done. I guess we'll end with just mounting it back together. This can't be good. I, I'd rather take that risk of the short circuit thing than doing this. Man. Every time. Okie dokie, there you go. Then you need to get the screen cable in again. Oh, this is hard. 
I mean the tilting thing is easy compared to this. Man. Alright. Cables in, I think. Then you just hmm. Pull this lock back. Like that. Put the plate back. And done. That's it. That's a short tutorial on how to flash the NS panel with our NS panel manager custom firmware. Hope that was of some help. Good luck with the rest and see ya.